Okay, so this time now we're going to have a discussions of chapter three covered organizational structure, information system, and the strategy. <clears throat> organizational structure, information system, and the strategy are all intertwined and critical to the success of modern organizations. So the organizational structure of a company refers to how it is designed and how work is divided and coordinated among various departments and employees. <clears throat> A well-designed organizational structure is essential for ensuring the resources are allocated efficiently and tasks are completely effectively. So organizations use information systems as tools and technologies to manage and process data and information. So hardware, software, databases, and networks are all components of information systems. So organizational functions such as decision-making, communications, and collaborations rely heavily on information systems. So to give us more details about the topic, let us all welcome our presenter. Go ahead, ma'am. Sorry, sir. Good morning, po. Good morning. So I, I'm Stefan Alansandanya, and I will be presenting the organization structure, information systems, and strategy. First is, uh, let's define our objective. So the following questions. Uh, can be answered after reading this chapter. First is, what organizational characteristics must managers be aware of in order to design and implement information systems successfully? Uh, what effects do information systems have on businesses? A uh, second is, how can firms find opportunities for strategic information systems applications using the value chain and value web models? Third is, how can information systems assist organizations uh, gain a competitive edge by leveraging network-based um, strategies, core strengths, and synergies? And last is, what problems do strategic information systems attempt to solve and how should they be approached? Uh, the two-way relationship between organizations and information technology. So uh, we use information in our decision making. Uh, information uh, uh, managers in organization use it, use it as well uh, using uh, information technology. Uh, they influence uh, one another, uh, but with also but with business in mind. Uh, to benefit uh, with the new technology, organization is must be aware of their business. So this two-way relationship is mediated by factors such as environment, culture, <coughs> structured business, process, processes, politics, management decisions. This complex two-way relationship uh, is also medi mediated by many factors, not the least of which are the decisions made or not made by managers. Uh, other factors mediating the relationship include uh, culture, structure, politics, business processes, and the environment. So what is an organization? Uh, by technical definition, an organization is a stable, formal uh, social structure that takes resources to the environment and processes them to make outputs. Uh, it is a formal legal entities with internal rules and procedures. Uh, it is also a collection of social elements. Uh, by behavioral definition naman po, uh, organization is a collection of rights, privileges, obligations, and responsibilities that is delicately balanced over a period of time through conflict and resolution. So uh, based on uh, technical def definition, organization is defined as how inputs create outputs when uh, technology is uh, introduced. So it is uh, capital and labor. Next slide uh, is the behavioral view of the organizations. Uh, en environmental resources is process. Uh, to structure, hierarchy, division of labor rules, procedures, uh, business processes, and culture. Also, process uh, rights and obligations, privileges and responsibilities, values, norms, people to create environmental outputs. Uh, the behavioral view of organizations uh, emphasizes group relationships, 
values and structures. What are the features of organization? So based on uh, the organization is de devoted to the principle of efficiency. What is the principle of efficiency? Uh, it is maximizing output using limited inputs. So the features of organization include uh, routines, organizational politics, organizational culture, environment, and structure. Routines is also called as standard operating procedures. It is the accurate rules, procedures, and practices that have been created to adapt with virtually all anticipated circumstances. On the other side, organizational politics uh, is the viewpoints about how resources, rewards, and punishments should be distributed that resulted in a uh, political struggle for resources, competition, and conflict within organization. Uh, third is organizational structure. It is a powerful uh, unifying force that restrains political conflict and promotes common understanding agreement on procedures and common practices. In addition, uh, organizational environment uh, is the organization organizations live in from which they attract resources and to which they supply goods and services. Environments generally change much, much faster than organizations due to disruptive uh, technology. Uh, disruptive technology is the substitute product that perform better than anything currently produced. Last is the structure such as entrepreneurial machine, uh, divisionalized, professionalized, professional and advocacy. Uh, for the organizational structures, we have the entrepreneur structure, the machine, bureaucracy, divisionalized, professional, and uh, ad hoc ad So, ang example po ni entrepreneurial structure is yung mga small startup business. Uh, for the machine naman is yung mga mid-sized manufacturing firm, such as um, yung... Uh, Hitachi, uh, yung mga nagko-convert ng raw materials to finished products. And uh, divisionalized bureaucracy such as uh, General Motors, Fortune 500 firms, uh, Toyota, uh, and other General Motors. Next is professional, uh, which are the law firms, school systems, and hospitals. And last is yung advocacy, uh, which are the consulting firms such as um, in the Philippines, we um, famous um, auditing firm, we have SGV, we have uh, Isla Lipana and such. Next is uh, other organizational features. Uh, organizational goals, uh, which are coercive goals, utilitarian goals, and normative goals. Next is the constituencies and the leadership steps. Environments and organizations have reciprocal relationship. So environment shape what organizations can do. But organizations can impact the environment and choose the change and choose to change the latter altogether. <clears throat> Information technology plays a critical role in assisting organizations uh, perceive environmental change at helping organizations act on their environment. So as we can see uh so picture, there are environmental environmental resources and constraints uh, in the government, such as the government competitors, customers, financial institutions, culture which affect uh big which has a material effect uh, in the firm and also knowledge technology which is the information systems.
Next slide is how information systems impact organizations and business. IT changes both the overall uh, expenses of capital and of information. Uh, it substituted labor, which historically has been a rising cost. However, IT resulted in a decline number of middle managers and clerical workers. So ito, uh, this is evident uh, in the current situation. As we can see, um, madaming technology yung nag arise uh, which uh, cost uh, the labor, meaning madaming nare-reduce din na trabaho because of the technology. Uh, so there are two theory involving this. Uh, first is the transaction cost theory. It states that uh, the transaction should be organized to minimize the cost of exchange and the cost of managing the organization towards efficiency maximization. So, uh, ang good example nito is sa accounting with regards sa purchase, uh, sa, sa purchase requisition. So, ang information technology we created, created a supplier database. So, instead na magpunta pa sa mga stores, uh, mas napapadali yung uh, paghahanap ng supplier using the supplier database. And also is the agency theory. It is a concept used to explain the relation, the relationship between principal and its agent, where the principal is someone who heavily relies on an agent to execute a specific financial decisions and transactions that can result in fluctuating outcomes. So, Dito, uh, isang person na lang yung gumagawa ng lahat ng duties. Uh, in that way, mas uh, mapapabilis yung trabaho and mas napapababa din yung cost company. Next is organizational and behavioral impacts. So, IT flattens organizations. It broadening the distribution of information to empower lower level employees and increase management efficiency. Also, post-industrial organization, uh, increasingly relies on knowledge and competence and not merely on formal positions. So, sa post-industrial orga organizations, uh, ito yung characteristics uh, ng mga managers. Uh, it proper so, kung proper yung value and yung delivery ng service, um, mas, nag mas naging efficient din yung company. Uh, organizational resistance and the mutually adjusting relationship between uh, technology and the organization. So, each... Uh, each, uh, the technology, the tasks, the people, the structure in, in the organization are related to each other. By implementing information systems, uh, it has consequences for task arrangements, uh, structures, and people. According to this model, to implement change, all four components must be changed simultaneously. Then, next is, what is internet? Uh, according to Khan, it is a system architecture that has revolutionized communications and methods of commerce, allowing various computer networks around the world to interconnect. Uh, also, it is uh, the internet differs with World Wide Web because WW is a way of accessing info over medium of the internet. Uh, what are the benefits of internet? So the benefits of internet uh, to the organization is first, it increases the accessibility, storage, and distribution of information and knowledge for the organization. Next is, it capable of dramatically lowering the transaction and agency costs facing, which most organization is facing. What are the implications for the design and understanding of information system? 
uh, the central organizational factors to consider when planning new system are the following. First, the, envir the environment in which the organization must function. Second is the structure of the organization, such as the hierarchy, the specialization routines, and business processes. Third is the organization's culture and politics, uh, such as the mission, the vision of the company, and the hierarchy uh, inside the organization. Uh, fourth is the type of organization in it, and its style of leadership the leadership style within the organization. Fifth uh, is the principal interest groups affected by the system and the attitudes of workers who will be using the system. So sixth last uh, is the kinds of tasks, decisions, and business processes that the information is designed to assist. So meaning, uh, ito yung, like for example, sa accounting department, we have to know the tasks uh, and the processes with regard sa billing, sa, um, sa billing, sa invoicing, uh, and dispersing of money as well. Last uh, is using information systems to achieve competitive advantage. A uh, competitive advantage is the attribute that allows an organization to out outperform its competitors. We believe that uh, kung sino yung mas nauuna, mas nauna sa market, is sila yung mas may competitive advantage. So, it is uh, outperf outperforming uh, competitors. Uh, so, kung mas nauna ka sa market, uh, mas malaki yung chance mo to have uh, this competitive advantage because first is meron kang unique resources. So, mas, ang effect ng sa organization is higher revenue growth, uh, profitability, uh, and which will also increase the organization's market valuation. So, the uh, question is, how do informations help, help the company gain competitive advantage. And that's all for, for my report po. Next reporter will be Ms. Elaine Guzman. Thank you. Hello. Nalinginig na po ako? Yes, go ahead. Okay. So I'll be presenting the succeeding for the chapter T for Porter's model of competitive forces. So what are the five forces of uh, Porter's? It's named after the Harvard Business School professor, Michael E. Porter. The Porter's five forces identify the industry weaknesses and strength by identifying and analyzing the five competitive forces. A five, for, five forces an analysis is frequently performed to determine a company strategy. Porter's model can be applied to any segment of the economy to understand the competition. This will enhance the long-term profitability. So uh, according to Porter, in the industry competition is shaped by the threat of new markets. Uh, entrance. It answers the question, what are the barriers to entry to entry for new competitors? The threat of substitute products or services. It answers the questions, alternatives to the product <clears throat> or services are easy, easy to find. Next is the bargaining power of customers. It answers the question, what are the best ways for buyers to negotiate? Uh, bargaining power of suppliers when it comes to pricing and availability, how much the influence do suppliers have? And next is the rivalry among existing competitors or what are the advantages of competitors? Uh, I attach here or um, I'm showing here an uh, example of uh, porters of Starbucks. So uh, with Starbucks, the competitive rivalry or the competitors selling similar products uh, with also a specialty of coffee. 
uh, si Starbucks may mas mag- may maganda siyang uh, supply chain management system. So na mitigate niya yung yung threat of rivalry. So it prevents the customer from shopping elsewhere or kung mas gusto mo parang mas choice mo pa din si Starbucks. So kasi nga dahil nga yung chain of management niya, lagi siyang maganda yung my god, yung yung the quality and all. Yun. Then the bargaining power of suppliers an overcrowded market, rising prices of coffee beans to suppliers based on quality and economic issues. So, uh, meron si Starbucks na parang sourcing group na nag, ang nagmina-manage lang niya is yung ano tawag dito? Ang mina-manage lang niya is yung mga suppliers. So, yung quality ng coffee niya, yung quality ng mga products niya uh, compared to other competitors is mas maganda. Next is the trend of new entrants. Uh, being designing and transport and distribution channels that are managed end to end Starbucks. Starbucks has mitigated this risk. Threat of substitution. Starbucks mitigates this risk with supply chain management by ensuring continuous supply of premium coffee beans to its roasting plants. The company has standardized the quality of its product globally. Next is the buyers of bargaining power to retain the increase increase brand loyalty retailers must ensure that their stores always have products on hand in addition they must ensure that their quality standards are internationally recognized and that their products offering is socially and environmentally conscious starbucks must manage its supply chain from premium coffee bean to on-time delivery to deliver this result the supply chain model directly influences the brand loyalty overall Information system strategies for with competitive forces. So the four basic competitive strategies: um, the low low cost leadership, product differentiation, focus on market market niche, and customer sub, and supplier intimacy. I'll explain it on the next slide. <clears throat> Low cost leadership, the use of information system can reduce our operational costs while enhancing the quality of service. Those prices will make it hard for the traditional competitors to con- compete. For example, the Walmart, uh, mentioned a system na uh, every time na i- 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 sa barcode, i- sh- yung baba nila, yung barcode nila, automatic na tatanggal siya dun sa inventory nila. And then nagkakaroon na parang monitor siya ng mga suppliers niya. So dahil doon, uh, low cost siya or mas mababa yung cost nila for the companies. Kasi hindi, uh, ano dito? Hindi niya na kailangan mag, mag-stock ng matagal doon sa warehouse nila. Kasi na ba monitor siya ng supplier. So merong nakikita na supply kung kailan siya dapat magbigay or magpadala ng panibagong stocks. Uh, for the product differentiation, differentiation, by creating products or services that are unique, strategic information system can create barriers from competitors. Having unique needs and desires is important to people. Keeping customer happy is one of the best strategies for dealing with competitors. For example, si Google recently naglaunch siya ng services like Google Maps and Google Lenses in its website. Also, Apple launches the Apple Store, Apple Pay, and continues to e- innovate. Focus on market niche. Organization in top competitive market con- can focus on niche segments rather than the broad general audience. Data mining allows firms to collect very specific to reach them directly. An example is um, si Hilton, Hilton Hotel. Meron siyang system na where pinasasagutan niya din sa mga previous customers niya. And then from that system, i- minamanage na or ini-store niya at saka siya nag-analyze kung sino yung pwede na nga nire-retarget niya at pwede uh, bigyan ng mga personalized service like yun nga, free spa, uh, opera ng late checkouts para makabalik sila doon or bumalik sila. Next is the increased trust between customer and suppliers. Improve Improve co- uh, supplier relationship with supply chain man- uh, management or SCM system and upgrade customer relationship with CRM. Companies can gain a competitive advantage over their traditional competitors and new competitors by utilizing customer relationship management system. As an example, SC Chrysler Corporation gives their suppliers access to their information system 
to choose on how and when the materials are delivered so that they are given enough time to prepare. Next is the impact of internet on competitive forces and in industry structure. So substitute products or services, the impact in the internet enables a substitute to emerge with new, with new approaches to meeting needs and performing functions. Customers bargaining power, availability of global price and product information shifts bargaining power to customers. Suppliers bargaining power, procurement over the internet, the internet tends to raise the bargaining power over the supply chain and also benefit from reduced barriers to entry and from the elimination of dis distributors and other intermediary intermediaries standing between them and their users. The threats of new entrants reduces the barrier barriers to entry, such as the need of for sales force to access to channels and physical assets, provides a technology for driving business processes that makes other things easier to do. Positioning the rivalry among existing competitors, why does the geographic market increasing the number of competitors, reducing the differences among competitors, make it more difficult to sustain operational advantages, puts pressure to compete on price. Next is the modeling of business value chain. A value chain is a set of activities that firms operating in a specific industry performs in order to, develop, to deliver a valuable product or service for the market. Porter described a chain of activities common to all businesses, and he divided them into primary and support activities. So uh, as you can see, uh, ito yung may support system, may support activity siya, then may primary activity siya. Actually, in the bank, sa work namin, we call it um, the earning and the non-earning department or group. I'll discuss it on the next slide. Oh. First is the primary activities. Primary activities are the creation, sale, maintenance, and support of the products and service. Sa primary activities, nandito yung inbound logistics involving receiving, storing, and distributing inputs. Your suppliers' relationships are the key. Next is the operations. Your operational systems create value by transforming inputs into outputs. Outbound logistics delivering products or services to customers. The system may be internal or external to your organization, including collection, storage, and distribution. Marketing and sales, these are the processes you use to persuade clients to purchase from you instead of your competitors. The benefits you offer and how well you communicate them are sources of value. Service, these are the activities related to maintaining the value of products or services or service to your customer and it's being Next. Next is the support activities. These activities support the primary functions above. For example, the procurement supports the operations with certain activities, but it also supports marketing and sales with other activities. So purchasing, this is what the organization does not to get the resources, does to get the resources it needs to operate. This includes finding the vendors and negotiating the best prices. With the HR management, this is how well a company recruits, hires, trains, and motivates, rewards, and retains its workers. People are a significant source of value, so businesses can create a clear advantage with the effective HR practices. Technological development, these are the activities related to managing and processing information as well as protecting a company's knowledge base. Next is the infrastructure. There, there are companies support system and the function that allow to maintain daily operations, accounting, legal, administrative, and general management are examples of necessary infrastructure that businesses can use to their advantage.
So after analyzing the business value chain, we will be able to identify the industry best practices by benchmarking your business processes against your competitors. Benchmarking aims to compare your business processes against strict standards and track their performance. The value chain at your business will help you identify potential information system application. Enhancing your business value chain can also help you achieve uh, operation. Values and employees are direct function of its IT infrastructure. Ideally, this is this in infrastructure. Hello. Uh, enhance, okay. Enhancing your business value chain can help you achieve operational excellence, lower costs, improve profit margins, and forge closer relationships with customers and suppliers. By examining the value of chain of your industry, you can think about ways to connect suppliers, strategic partners, and customers more effectively. Your value chain ability to rate other partners, value chain is your strategic ad uh, advantage. Extending the value chain, the value web. In value web, independent, independent firms coordinate their value chains using information technology to produce a product or service. For instance, uh, like si Amazon, gusto niya mag-build ng system na mas madali for the suppliers na mag-display ng mga goods nila or mag-open ng store. So, on sa Amazon site. Pa, uh, gusto din niya na mas madali sa customers niya na magbayad ng goods and the, the, gusto rin nyo na mag-develop ng system that coordinates shipments of goods sa customers. And also, gusto rin nyo magkaroon ng, or mag-develop ng tracking system para sa, sa customers niya. The value web, mas, uh, kaya ginamit gamit niya is the value web. So, dun siya nag-start. So, value web is more customer-driven and operates in a less linear fashion than the traditional value chain. So the value, value web uh, shows the figure 3.10, shows that, that this value web synchronizes the business processes of the customers, suppliers, and trading partners among different companies in an industry, in related industries. Relationship can be bundled or unbundled to adapt changing market condition. The firm can make quick decision on who can deliver the required products at the right price and location by optimizing its value web relationships. Synergies, core competencies, and network-based strategies. So first is the synergies. The synergies occur when output from one unit can be used as input into another or when two organizations pool their markets and expertise. Uh, this is uh, why mergers of financial firms such as J.P. Morgan with Bank of New York, Bank of America with countrywide financial corporates occurred precisely to achieve its goals. Uh, enhancing core competencies using information for competitive advantage can also be achieved by enhancing core competencies in order to improve the performance of all business units. These units need to develop a central core of competencies. In the world of business, core competencies are the activities for which firm excels. So core competencies are developed through combination of years experience and research on technology. Uh, it's possible to enhance or in, enhance existing competencies by using information system that promote knowledge sharing between business units. For example, the PNG or the Procter and Gamble, people working on similar problems are able to share ideas and expertise through a series of um, systems. Uh, the R&D, the engineering, the purchasing, the marketing, and all the, the involved employees can share their documents and reports their, their charts into, uh, you know, through online. The PNG system can also link researchers and entrepreneurs searching for new and innovative products outside the company. Network-based strategies. Network-based business strategies take advantage of firms' ability to 
establish networks or a network with the, with each other. Examples is include networks economics, a virtual company model, and the business ecosystems. In network economics, the value of product depends on how many people use it. The network effects is at play here. A telephone is useless if it is not connected to millions of others. We communicate with millions of others via email. Online businesses based on network effects, including social network software, messaging apps, and on-demand services like Uber and Airbnb have been highly successful. So what are the checklists for conducting a strategic system analysis? Managers need to perform a strategic system analysis to identify the types of systems that provide strategic advantage to their firms. Managers should ask the following question. So what are the industry and structure in this firm? Uh, in what are the competitors influencing prices in the industry? Do the entrants threaten the market? Uh, what, the, what is the relative power of substitute products and services? How is the industry changing and where does the momentum come from? What is the industry IT use? Do you think your organization is behind or ahead of the industry? Next is what are the firm's business for what are the firm's business, firm and industry value chains? So what are the does the company do create value for its customer? Could the business create more value for the customer? Does the firm understand and manage in business processes using the best practices? Does it take advantage of the supply chain, CRM, and enterprise system? Does the firm leverage its core competencies? Is the industry supply chain and customer base changing in ways that benefit or harm the firm? Can it benefit from strategic partnership and value webs? And the last is how we align the aligned IT with our business strategies and goals. Do we have clear business strategy? How IT supporting this strategy and how measuring progress? That's all for my report. Thank you. Here are my reference for my report. Sir. Okay, so all modern organizations are hierarchical, no? specialized in impartial, using explicit routines to maximize efficiency. So all organizations have their own cultures in politics arising from differences in interest groups, and they are affected by their surrounding environment. So <clears throat> organizations differ in goals, group, serve social rules, leadership styles, incentive types, task performs, and type of structure. And these features help explain difference in organization use of information uh, system. Now, information system and the organization in which they are used, interact with, and influence each other. <clears throat> the introduction of a new information system will affect you know, organizational structure, goal, work design, values, competition between interest groups, decision making, and a day to day behavior. <clears throat> At the same time, the information system must be designed to serve the needs of no, important organizational groups and will be shaped by the organization structure, business, uh, business processes, goals, culture, uh, politics, and management. So information technology can reduce transaction and agent, agency costs, and such changes have made accentuated in organization using the internet. New system disrupt no, in established patterns of, of work and power relationships. So there is open considerable resistance for them when they are introduced. <clears throat> In Porter's competitive uh, forces model, the strategic position, as our, our presenter mentioned, of the organization and its strategies are determined by competition with its traditional direct competitors, but they are also greatly affected by the new market entrants, <clears throat> substitute products and services, suppliers and customers. Information system help companies compete by maintaining low costs differentiating product or services, focusing on market niche, strengthening ties with customers and suppliers, and increasing barriers to market uh, entry with high level of operational excellence. <clears throat> the value chain model, uh, the, the value chain model highlights specific activities in the business where competitive strategies and information system will have the greatest impact. So the model <clears throat> views the firm as a series of primary and support activities 
that add value to a firm's products and or services. Primary activities are directly related to production and distribution, whereas support activities make the delivery of primary activities possible. So a firm's value chain can be linked to the value chain of to each suppliers, distributors, and customers. So a value web consists of information system that enhance no, competitiveness as the industry level by promoting the use of standards and industry-wide consortia and by enabling businesses to work more efficiently with their value partners. <clears throat> because firms consist of multiple business units. So information system achieve additional efficiency or enhance services by trying to gather the operations of disparate business units. <clears throat> information systems help businesses leverage their core competencies by promoting the sharing knowledge across business units. Okay, so information system facilitate business models based on large networks of users of or subscribers that the that take advantage of network economics. No, so a virtual company strategy use no uses networks no? to link the to other firms so that a company can use the capabilities of other companies to build, market, and distribute products and services. In business ecosystems, no multiple industries work together. Excuse me, to deliver value to the customer because information system support a dense network of interactions among the participating organizations. Implementing a strategic system often requires extensive organizational change and transition from one social technical level to another. So such changes are called strategic transitions and are often difficult and, of course, painful to achieve. Moreover, not all strategic systems are profitable and they can be expensive to build. And many strategic information systems are easily copied by other firms so that a strategic advantage is not always sustainable. <clears throat> Again, a strategy is a plan of actions used by an organization to achieve its goals and objectives. So a well-defined strategy is essential for ensuring that an organization activities are in line with its mission and vision that it can effectively respond to changes in the business environment. <clears throat> Organizational structure, information system, and strategy are all interconnected, as I mentioned. A well-designed organizational structure is essential for ensuring that information flows efficiently throughout the organization and that information systems are used effectively. In turn, <clears throat> information system aid organizational strategy by supplying the data and information required for decision-making and implementation. Organization must also consider how technology will affect their organizational structure and strategy. because. <clears throat> Technology is evolving quickly and it has the potential to disrupt traditional organization structure and business models. No? Organization must adapt their organizational structure, information system, and strategy to effectively leverage technology in order to remain competitive. Overall, <clears throat> the interaction of organizational structure, information system, and strategy is critical for modern organization success. Effective management of these elements ensures that, or that organizations can respond to changes in the business environment, effectively remain competitive over time. So I think that's it for this chapter. <clears throat>